one of the problems with the church of God in Christ is that we are stiff-necked, stubborn, and obstinate people. We refuse to repent. We've been full of lust, full of idolatry, full of uncleanness, full of hypocrisy, full of lies, but unwilling to repent. But beloved, before you can go to the world and tell the world to repent, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ need to ask God, wash us with pure water. We need to be washed thoroughly. God, deliver me from my evil income. My evil. Deliver me from my wickedness. He say do. That's church growth. Stop going to all these conferences, getting all these books, getting all these people. Listen, you want your church to grow? Whatever he say do. The Bible said, the Bible said, Jesus said, the six pots, stone pots, fill them to the brim. They can hold between 20 and 30 gallons of water. Fill them to the brim. Listen to me. In Ezekiel, that water represented a refreshing. And in Ezekiel, it also represented repentance. One of the problems with the church of God in Christ is that we are stiff-necked, stubborn, and obstinate people. We refuse to repent. We've been full of lust, full of idolatry, full of uncleanness, full of hypocrisy, full of lies, but unwilling to repent. But beloved, before you can go to the world and tell the world to repent, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ need to ask God, wash us with pure water. We need to be washed thoroughly. God, deliver me from my evil income. My evil, deliver me from my wickedness. Deliver me from my hypocrisy. Deliver me from lies. Deliver me. You know, if you want a revival to come, it ain't singing songs that's going to bring no revival. It ain't jumping and rolling going to bring no revival. You want a revival to come? Repent. Tell God you're sorry. Admit. Admit that you offended God. Admit that you shouldn't have done what you did. Admit that you sit next to people you hate. Admit. You want God to do something in our church? You want to see the spirit of God come again? You want to see souls delivered? Tell God you're sorry. Turn from your evil ways. Repent from being stubborn. Every time you go to a prayer meeting y'all holding, y'all don't even talk to God in y'all prayer meetings. Every time y'all have a prayer, oh, thank you, thank you. Hold it. Stop saying thank you, thank you. Say, Lord, all flesh is grass. Here I am. I'm open before you. You know every one of my thoughts. You know my heart. You know everything about me. And God, I repent of my wrong. I got evil in me. I slander, I gossip, I speak wrong. I need you to help me. I need you to heal me. I need you to deliver me. What I realized in this moment is that some of you, you don't have any individuality. What you have is just a title. What are you doing with your name? One thing Kevin Lemons always taught us is that, babe, all you have is your name. Did he do everything right? No. But if he did something wrong, he had a conscience. And that's the problem with the saints of God today. We have no conscience. I didn't stand here to throw off or go off, and I definitely don't want you to think that way. However, what I will say is if my husband was standing in these shoes, he would say the same. I have questions. 
so I leave you with this. Drop the title. We don't care about your title. Because some titles God didn't give you. They were self-appointed. You paid for them. You didn't serve or work for them. And because the person you were submitted to wanted you to work and teach you how to serve, you couldn't stay in the fire long enough, so you went to somebody else that would just give you one just to have it. <laughs> 